Hey guys, today we are taking Chester to a barrel race in Searcy, Arkansas, which I think is like a little over an hour away. So we are going to get him a hay bag made, get his fly mask on, and get him loaded up. No. Yeah, I have a fly mask. When I haul, especially with the windows down, my horses have to have fly masks on so nothing blows into their eyes. And this particular fly mask is from Hot Head Stalls, and I love the four lock hole so much. Already. Mwah. He has to go in jail for now, but don't worry, we will be right back for him. We are going to put about a flake of alfalfa in this hay bag for the ride there, and then I just bought another super cute hay bag to put some in for the ride back. That way, the pig has enough for both ways. I am working on it. Now you're going to talk. There we go. What was that? This is the other bag I just bought, and it's leopard print. <laughs> nice compared to that. Sideways. You just put that in vertically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now that we have two hay bags made, I can go get this one hung up for the ride there, and then we can load him up. You ready? Chester is the king, so of course when he hauls alone, he gets both of these spots in the trailer so it's nice and roomy for him. Once I have him in there, I put the butt bar thing up so he can't back out or touch the doors or anything or in case of an emergency and the door comes open. He still has a little bit of a barrier there. It is so hot here, so I am hauling with the windows down so he gets as much airflow as possible. And then we get that ramp up and head off to the barrel race. When we get there, I put the window windows up because when I tie I don't want them to be able to get their head under the windows and mess with them so I hop in there and back him up and I already know he was very excited to be here and to go make a run so when I have him out I tie him to the other side of the trailer and then I learned that we actually showed up an hour later than we should have but we are okay we don't have to rush too much he is good and comfortable. We're about to start grooming him. I am number 64 and we thought it started an hour later than it actually did. So we're not in too much of a rush, but I thought I was going to have more time. The first thing we are going to do is clean up my cinch because if you watch my last video, we rode in the mud last night. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice and clean for him and then we will start grooming him. Just got a little muddy. So I'm just taking this sponge and a little bit of water. Just as long as there's no mud, he's good. Yeah. He had a full bath last night, so he just has some shavings where he took a little nap this morning. But he is overall not very dirty. Somewhat pretty. You itchy? He just has some shavings. Because he loves to take a morning nap every single morning. We have not run here in two full years. Probably over. This is the first place I ever ran Chester. We got him home and I took him right here. So that was the last time I have run here on anything. It has been a minute. And of course, you get a little poop stain. After I give you a bite, you stink your thing. Now it is time to saddle him up. And guys, I've been loving my lightweight saddle. So 
so much. It's so easy to get up there without it slamming on his back and it relieves a lot of pressure on him whenever we are running and just riding because every pound on their back does matter. But he has been running so, so good in it. He has not been sore at all. And I've been loving where it sits me during our runs. I think it sets me up to do the best job possible. Got my little master brush collar. If you order a master saddle, I will actually put the style of this one in the description so y'all know exactly what mine is. There are cooler ones, but if you order one, use my name and you should get a little something off. Gotta get them clean. Good and soft. Got some shavings in it. Now that he is saddled up and ready, we head off to go warm up. And we parked very far away from the warm up, so I hop on and ride over there. And I also use this walk as part of our warm up since I said we were running a little bit behind. So when I got to the warm up, I did trot for a long time and then I asked for him to lope both ways, really getting his muscles, his tendons, his ligaments, and everything warm. Before I go ask him to run as hard as he can, I want to make sure he is not going to tear or or rip anything because I did not take my time and warm him up properly. He was so, so good, so I stopped him and pet him for a while to really let him know that I was very, very pleased with that warm-up, and then we walk out of the arena to go start putting on everything else he needs. Because of the heat here, I do not warm him up in leg boots, I only warm up in bell boots. So once I am done warming up, I do start to put them on. I run him in all four to make sure he is really supported and protected, so that is why I am putting them on now instead of before my warm up. Once I have the boots on, it is time to start picking his feet. I also pick them after I warm up, mostly because my SI joint sucks and really takes a lot out of me to pick their feet. So I can see if there's any rocks or any packed mud in there and make sure I get it all out before his run. Another thing I do during the warm up is I warm him up in our at home riding bit or what I call our practice bit and then I switch to his running bit which of course is his crown. So that is what I am doing here. The bits are very different so I like to just warm up in one and run in the other. Of course, I did take the tack off off camera, but the king got a drink when I was done. Okay, so that was definitely not a bad run. It was not our best run ever. The last two times I've ridden, I've ridden terribly. Thank you. And I think I kind of hardened his mouth up being just too much for him. So I don't think he was ready for me to be softer today. He didn't really want to really commit to those turns. And I think that's why, because I've been a really sloppy rider recently. So I have a game plan for our week and we have a big run at the end that I'll be taking you guys 
with us too so I'm excited for that and I know exactly what to work on he was definitely running but wasn't wanting to really commit to finish those turns really tight so I have some drills that we will be working on for our next run and we are going to get him sponged off a little bit dip the sponge into this water he's about to hate me a little bit and gonna work to get that sweat that builds up on his face oh oh my goodness like around his ears places that you can't really spray and it's gross oh, sponge bath moment I'm so but it should feel good you're always itchy this way it's just really gentle and easier to do at the trailer than a water hose. Now I move on to his back, really running that water over it to try and get rid of that nasty sweat and cool him down. Nice little sponge bath moment. Gross, it's gross. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's nice. It's definitely getting darker because the sun has gone down. I feel like you're into this. You might act like you're not, but I think you're vibing with it. Okay. I'm gonna switch to the cleaner side for his back. Do you wanna eat it? I'll get you a treat in just a minute, I promise. Now we're gonna get his front legs ice vibing, so I have to go grab the ice packs out of the living quarters, and then I will meet you at Chester. Nice and cold. Very, very cold. Okay. All right. This will really cool his tendons down. Oh God, after running and having the sports boot. You better not break that ice pack you have your foot on. There we go. Okay, now you can't, you can't do that. When he vibed for 15 minutes on the front legs, I went and grabbed my other ice packs and moved the boots to the back legs to make sure we get them cooled off and massaged as well. Once I got the back legs on, I moved on to put his hawk boots, which are also ice vibes on, to really cool down his hawks and give them a little massage. And he is not 100% used to these because I just got them and he is a bit of a drama queen. So he's being a little weird about it. I did not realize how high up the leg boots went. So that was my bad. But I mean, the guy's worn crazy shipping boots. So surely he'll get used to these after a little bit. We always make sure to replenish our horse's electrolytes after they run, so Chester got a tube of electrolytes, which he absolutely hates, but because he was so good, he got some treats. I mean, he'd probably get treats anyway, but he was really, really good at this race. Now I'm going to wet down his hay bag for the ride home and get it hung up in the trailer. I'm going to hang up his going home hay bag because we are almost ready to get him loaded up.
When we got back home, he was able to eat his dinner, which he was so, so excited for. I know he'd been thinking about this the whole night. Thank you so much for coming to this race with me. Make sure you subscribe so I can see you again very soon. Bye.